him. You can say one thing and by your works deny what you say. So this confessing Jesus as Lord doesn't save you. It's that belief from the heart that wells up in a confession through words, through life. It's when you're in the family and they are telling you to close your mouth. We don't want to hear that. But you're going to confess Christ as Lord. It's in the workplace. But they say, we don't want any of that. Away with your Christ. Away with your Christianity. Away with your religion. We don't want it. But you confess it there when it's hard. People love to talk that way. Oh, I'm saved. I got saved when I was three. I was baptized. I got saved. People love to throw that term around. Saved, saved, saved. But we hear it a lot. People walk in here. Are you saved? Well, yeah, I'm saved. They're not saved, but they say they are because they haven't bowed the knee to Christ. There's no confession of His Lordship in their life, not by their works. Oh, they might say, you believe Jesus Lord? Yeah, I believe He's Lord. Then they walk right out and they're slaves to sin. They're not obeying Him. Don't you realize what it says? Why call you me Lord, Lord? And then you don't do the will of my Father in heaven. It's not those who say, Lord, Lord. It's those who do the will of the Father. You say, you got to be doing something to get saved? I'm saying this. If you're truly saved, if you truly have that faith that saves, you're going to submit to Christ because that's what happens. God says under the new covenant, I'm going to write my laws on their heart. I'm going to break their heart. I'm going to take that old stony thing out. I'm going to put a heart of flesh in. My laws will not be grievous. And if you say that you are a Christian, 1 John chapter 2 says, but you don't keep the commandments, you're a liar, you're a liar, you're a liar. True Christian.